So it's all over here at Villa Park. Arsenal have lost 1-0. And uh, it's been very much the case of after the Lord Mayor's show. Classic Arsenal really beat Liverpool, beat Man City, come to a relegation threatened team and lose without having a shot on target. Pretty much sums up the season for Arsenal. That's it in terms of their Euro- European place uh, chances in the Premier League. Can't finish higher than eighth now, whatever happens on the last day. So it's FA Cup or bust in terms of Arsenal's. European hopes for next season and in truth they don't deserve anything more than that this season in in the league they've been dreadful <laughs> obviously the improvement has happened since um, Mikel Arteta has arrived but I think what we saw tonight here at Villa Park shows there's still so much work for him to do um, <laughs> the fact that the game's main headline really was the f- um, an aeroplane being flown above Villa Park by Arsenal fans a cronky out group with the message back Arteta um, Cronky out flying over it was the biggest highlight and that kind of says it all about the game like I said no shots on target for Arsenal really really poor St- team selection wasn't great I didn't think from Arteta um, yeah, played with a front three of Eddie on the right Lacquer in the centre Orba on the left there was no midfield link up between them Eddie was wasted out on the right he's not right winger um, it just didn't work Xhaka didn't play and Arsenal missing we know how much they miss him when he doesn't play Torreira played the first half Xhaka came on for the second um, so you could tell that Mikel wasn't impressed with what he saw in the first half and it just wasn't a good performance throughout. The goal was poor. It came from a set-piece. Surprise, surprise. 46% of Arsenal's goals conceded this season in the league have come from set-pieces. That's a shocking figure. Something they're going to have to sort out next season. Um, it came from a corner. Swung in. Mings got... Mings was... Aubameyang was on Mings. Lost him completely. Mings got the flick on. It went to the back... Um, sort of flashed across goal and went to Trezeguet fantastic finish from Trezeguet but Cedric turned his back on the shot Trezeguet was unmarked it was just just really poor defending from Arsenal and after that Villa had something to hang on to and they hung on to it really well they fought for everything you could see how much this meant to them you know this is a huge game for them in their relegation battle they came into this knowing that Watford had just been hammered 4-0 at Manchester City um, and if Villa they knew if they weren't won here today then they could go into the final day with them um, um, safety in their own hands and they've done that they won 1-0 I think I think they deserved it just for the fight they showed and Arsenal's real lack of quality they couldn't break them down and they deserved it so fair play to Villa but another bit of a wake up call for Arsenal really about the work that needs to be done this summer and um, and how they're going to do it and it's just it's going to be difficult to do though I mean the, the banner said it all above their back Arteta but you, how do you back Arteta in the middle of a global pandemic you're, you've got a football club here who could lose if there's no fans in the stadium could lose about nearly 150 million pounds next summer so although you can understand the message and you know you know what the fans who are behind it are saying it's not that simple it's not that simple at the best of times it's certainly not that simple in the middle of a global pandemic when even before the pandemic Arsenal had lost nearly 25 million was their first loss for 25 years so this financial situation was poor then now it's even worse and it could get even worse if fans aren't allowed into stadiums next season so I can understand the message but it's not really as simple as that um, but anyway let's go through my player ratings um, for today a little bit of a warning they're not going to be pretty but I'm sure you're expecting that Emmy Martinez in goal made a couple of good saves in the second half when Villa broke looking for a second goal he could do nothing from the goal it was a lovely lovely strike he didn't really put a foot wrong I don't think Martinez as usual so I'm going to give Martinez a seven Klasnach who was playing in the on the left of the back three in the first half and ended up as a centre-back pair and Rob Holding in the second half I thought it was awful I thought he just looks so average now Klasnach even when he gets forward where when he first joined he looked a real threat all the time putting decent balls scored goals now he just looks a shadow of that that player. He just looks really, really poor. Um, I'm going to give Klasnach a four. Louise, I'm going to give a five. I thought Louise did all right. He was you know, fairly solid. He went off in the second half, not hopefully not injured. Um, but uh, I'll give Louise a five. Holding, again, I'll give a five. I didn't think he wasn't as bad as Klasnach, but he didn't, um, he didn't do anything particularly special, nor any Arsenal players, really. Cedric Suarez, I thought, struggled a little bit. I saw he got a lot of grief for the goal. I can understand that by the way he turned his back but um, you know it's a powerful powerful shot and it's kind of a natural reaction sometimes to do to do that but um, I'm going to give Suarez a f- I'm going to give a five just because I can't give him as bad as Kalasnach because I thought Kalasnach was woeful Saka not not a decent game for Saka I have to give him a five as well I didn't really do much at all Tobias I thought was the best Arsenal player again worked really hard was totally isolated in the first half he basically did it all on his own in the first half and um, got a little bit of support in the second half when when Xhaka was alongside him but um 
so I'll give Jack, I'm going to give Sabas a six. Lucas Torreira just didn't work out for Torreira in that first half. He got hooked at half time after 45 minutes or wasn't too surprised. Like I said, when Jack is not there, Arsenal miss him massively. And the Torreira that we saw at the start of his Arsenal career looks a long way from that right now. Um, so I'm going to give Torreira, he's going to get four. Um, Bamiang, Lacazette and Nketiah, it's tough to give them all. I mean, they didn't have a shot on target between them. Nketiah hit the post in the second half of a header, probably should have scored. Hit the post, it was from a corner. Um, it bounced back into Rain's arms. So all of them, I can't really give any of them more than the five. So they all get fives and it's just a, a low scoring ratings, I'm afraid, <laughs> tonight. And it just sum, it sums up. The rest of them, it's quite tough to give a, a lot of. I thought, um, the, the, I'll give Xhaka a rating because he came on at half time. So I'm going to give Xhaka a five. I thought he saw, he. he he was certainly a lot more effective alongside Sebastian and Torreira, Torreira was, so I'll give him a five as well. Um, I thought Pepe was bright when he came on in the second half, at, at least had a couple of decent runs, pressed Aston Villa back a little bit, um, so I'll give him a five, but the rest of them I'm not really going to mark, just because they didn't really have m much of an impact, they didn't have too much time on the pitch, and it's just a really disappointing disappointing night at Villa Park for Arsenal. It's, came in hoping that they could follow on from that win at Wembley and give themselves at least a chance on the final day of um, getting the points they needed to secure themselves a spot in the Europa League. Not going to happen. It's all down to the FA Cup now.